Hello guys, it's Cryptic Skull here, and I'm going to be playing some Max Payne Mobile. Now this game is pretty cool from what I've played of it, because I tried to record it earlier and it completely failed. Um, also, sorry about the not really a recording schedule or posting schedule. It's because my internet sucks. And like I don't know how long it'll do this to do this to do that. Blah, 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 blah. But this is gonna be the last unscheduled video. I'm gonna be trying to get them out at least Monday and Friday, maybe Wednesday, maybe. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. The sound is low because for me, but for you guys, it's probably not. But for me, it's because. Like, if it's loud and I can hear it, then y'all can't hear me talking. And, you know, talking is the most biggest part of this YouTube channel. So, let's go right into it. There's a cutscene at the beginning. Part 1, The American Dream. Also, it's a very beautiful scene. I will say that. For me, I guess. I mean, it's like a PS2 looking game. But it's not bad. Hopefully you can hear me good. If you can, I'm sorry. I need that light on. Turning off lights and stuff. You know how it is. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown, North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming over to me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex? You're still out for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. The sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. The house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. Dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. New Jersey, three years ago. Michelle, honey, anybody home? I didn't like the way the show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. So hopefully my mic is working good. If it's not and you can barely hear me, I, I'm going to get closer just in case. Okay, there's nothing in here. I forgot. He says something right here about that jacket. It won't, let, it won't load in though. I can, I can jump. Uh, can't switch weapons yet. So anyway, um, something I guess you guys 
to know a little, a little bit about me. Both my parents smoked, but my mom quit, and my dad still smokes. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call I'll tell you more after this. Is this the main residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to. Good. I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello. Okay, let me just check the recording. Yeah, it's still recording. Oh god, does controls get off the screen? Oh, I'm sorry guys, I'm obscuring the screen. Um, I think I got a message. Did I even bring that thing? <laughs> no, I didn't. Well, for whomever texted me, if I did get a text message, I'm sorry if I didn't answer it. It's because I left my phone in somewhere else. Alright, so back to the game. No controls on the screen. That's amazing. So anyway, both my parents had smoked, and I have secondhand smoke and asthma, so I really am struggling to breathe when I'm running and stuff. And I can run really fast. I've actually been offered a lot of sports things and, like, track and stuff like that people tell me i should do these things and i'm like i don't think i can i can barely run 10 seconds i'm like <laughs> couldn't be a murderer because i couldn't catch up to people i'd just give up and say eh. these guys can kill my woman or my children you're gonna die Don't drop it, I drop you. Alright. Ah, uh, door's locked. Up. Oh, slow mo. Mmm, right in the belly. Down the stairs. He's down. Don't mess with the cryptic skull, because I'm a badass. Alright. I would do that in real life too, you broken mouth. You killed my child. You'd be a dead man. Or my woman. I'd kill you. Because I'm just that evil. Monster in the closet? No, okay. Yep. I'm messing with my wife. I see how it is, you dirt bag. Right in the guts. I guess you could say he's had a lot for lunch. Killed her, man. I will avenge you, though. No! That was three years ago. Everything ripped apart in the New York Minute. The killer junkies have been hired a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. After this funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Puccinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover, infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Sorry you heard creaking and stuff during the cutscene. I was... I was... Uh, I was looking for my phone. Uh, <laughs> so, like I said, if you texted me and I didn't answer it for like 20 some minutes, this is why. I, I'm sorry I forgot my phone in the living room on the couch. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA. The only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lapino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face to face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. Shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. New York, I present day, two nights.
Actually, I didn't even think of it. Or I thought he was talking. I didn't even think of this. This could have been a port. This could have been a port. I didn't think of that. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. I killed my friend Jimmy. It's on now. I will avenge you, Jimmy. We always loved you. And there's just the showers and stuff. And I think a dead body. Really a waste of time, but you know, I, I'll go check it out. So you guys know what's going on here. See, it's just showers. I can take showers. He needs a shower. He, he needs a heavy shower. Um, any drugs in here? Yeah, some drugs. In there. All right, so <laughs> I called them drugs. Oh, uh, well, they oh, well, yeah, really, they are drugs. So, yep, here we go. Got him. Shot right in the arm and he dies. Story of my life right there. Lead pipe. I thought I had dual ones. Desert Eagle. Yeah. Dual Berettas. Beretta's a... Let, let me check the report. Beretta is a great pistol. I mean, from what I've heard. And, like, you know, I've played it with, a, with video games. I haven't shot a Beretta in real life. I'd love to. I'd love to shoot a Desert Eagle in real life, too. You know, I got a friend that can, well, she has a YouTube channel, and I got a friend, he can probably get those and let me shoot them. No, he's a, he's country, deep country. <laughs> Shot him through the fence! Well, I'm, I'm originally from the mountains, so, I mean, does it, I mean, I'm not gonna say, like, I'm more country, because, I mean, he lives on a farm. I'm sitting there living on, in a trailer, so, I mean... Call me what you will, but soon enough I'll be getting a new house and I'll be living, you know, further away from where I am now. Yep. So I'll be probably putting out more videos because in the trailer, you know, you ain't got no space. The walls are paper thin. People can hear what you're doing, and I just, I just don't want to deal with that. You know, I don't, I don't like people listening to my videos. I'm very. Ah, uh, he's got. The, he needs the right code. Sorry, I was talking during that. I have very bad anxiety, and it just, I don't know. Oh, look at he shot his own friend. Dude, shot both of his friends. That must have hurt. Right, I'm going to go shoot him, unless he's a good guy. Nope. I just love doing that. Knocked over the dead body, I disgraced him. I'm sorry, sir. You'll be alright. How do you take painkillers? I think it's triangle. Yeah, there we go. I'm using a PS3 controller, so thank you, Sony. Controllers are All amazing. Alex, ended up in the middle of a big time crime operation. You know, something that really surprises me is a lot of Sony and uh, not Sony, uh, like what? PS3, PS4 players are always complaining about the controllers. It's been the same formula for years, and like, what if they change it now? You wouldn't be used to it if you're big on. PlayStation. I would have to find another way to get to the tunnel. Honestly, I like the PlayStation controller a lot more than an Xbox controller. I mean, I don't hate Xbox. I actually love Xbox. And I love PlayStation 3 as well. I mean, I'm not a... Like, I'm not going to say I like Microsoft better than Sony, because they both got so many pros that you really just don't want to pick out one. Well, I don't. Like, you know, I'm in a gamer club, and they're always like, oh, what about... Me, man. Wait. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appear from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Yeah. Sure. Sounds okay. good. Follow me. So anyway, like, in my gamer club on Facebook, a lot of the people are like, oh, well, what do you like better, Xbox, um, PlayStation, or, like, freaking PC? I'm like, why not just like them all? I mean, yeah, PC is more superior, and, like, to all those people that like to say PC is better and console sucks, you've never played a console game in your life. PC doesn't have Halo. PC doesn't have Infinite. I mean, yeah, I mean, you got great games. I'm not going to say you don't have great games. Shoot. 
If you think I'm biased to console, I can tell you some games on the PC that are amazing. You got Stranded Deep, you got Subnautica, freaking... What's that game? It's on PC. I, it's a really great game. I can't remember the name of it. Maybe I was expecting them to be there. I dove right into the coffee table. Just like that night I was drunk. Who said that now? Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to... I have a glass coffee table, so that suck. <laughs> Oh, I think I went off subject a little bit too more. But um, the guy that has a lot of guns is Cakes Gaming. He literally lives two miles up the road from me, and like I've seen, I was, he's got AKs and all that. I mean, it's, he doesn't have his friends got. He knows the guy, I guess you could say. And I'm not gonna release that too much information about this guy. But like KSG, all these amazing, amazing guns. If you love guns, then I mean, this guy can, this guy knows where he can get them. It's, it's, it's a gun store down the road, so. It's not like they're illegal. I mean, we don't, we don't do any illegal stuff. But, um, also I'd like to shout out one of my subscribers. My very first subscriber, you know, she's really helped me with the channel. Give me good advice and all that, you know. And I think... As I brought in the crowd, you know, I have 20 subs now, which thank you guys, thank you, and please refer your friends and stuff, and just, so I can get up there, I want to, you know, share my wisdom with the world, I guess you could say, share my personality, and let me check the, uh, yeah, it's still recording, oh, sorry, yep, battery's low, don't look at my Markiplier stuff, I watch Markiplier, if you have a problem with that, I don't know, but, um, yeah, a lot, like, she really brought in everything, you know, and I've agreed to help her with her book, and, you know, because it's a great book, I mean, I'd put a link in the description, but most of you guys are gamers, you wouldn't read it, it's not a gaming book, it's, it's more of a romance, but, like, it's a good book, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna disagree on that, it's a great book in its genre. And, you know, you, you guys know me. I'm not a romance type. If you've read my book, I'm a freaking gore guy, you know. I If you look at my... I have my subscribers private, or my subscriptions private, so no one can see who I'm subscribed to. It's not really that I'm embarrassed by it. I just, uh... I haven't gotten around to changing it. So, like, anyway, I'm subscribed to people like Mr. Nightmare. Or, like... What's that guy's name? Elf Lied Coda. Um. Plasma. Uh, plasma. Dr. Horror. Um. Horror. King Spook. Regional Bot Horror. Dude, I'm into the horror stuff. You know, I'm into the scare and the gore, I guess you could say. And, you know, people ask me all the time, why are you so paranoid? It's because those scary true stories actually happen. I've had stuff happen to me. Really scary stuff. Chapter 2 live from the crime scene just by the way. Really scary stuff and I don't want people to go through that. You know, not my family, not my friends or nothing. I really protective and really paranoid. That's who I am. I just I can't control it and I have bad anxiety and everything. I wish I could check how long I've been recording, but I can't. I mean, because I love to play games, and I could play a game for hours. Let's see if I can check it. Yeah, don't don't look at that. Um, Raven Sword. Yeah, by the way, I have that now. So if you want to see me play it, I definitely will play it. So it's been going on for 20 minutes, so I can go on a little longer. So... If you want to see me play Raven Sword, it'll be a fill-in between this episode and... Because this is going to be a series, definitely. Because Max Payne, you know, it sounds like a badass. Like Mad Max, you know, that, those movies. I've only seen Fury Road. And that one was great. So I'm going to have my dual Berettas out. There he is. 
lit them up. That's me in real life, you know, that's, 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 a, that's my day job behind YouTube, is I just go around murdering thugs. Not really, because if I did, I'd be in prison. Talk about it a lot, though. Anyway, back to my subject. To my first subscriber, which she knows who she is, thank you. And I acknowledge you in the video as, well, really, you kind of asked me to, but, you know, it's whatever. You know, I will acknowledge you because you're a great person. Say, for instance, my 20th subscriber, uh, which is Stevie, I think it is. Everybody calls him Stevie. You know, he's a great person, dude. He's really fun to talk to. Then you got Harley and AJ. You got all these people that are just amazing. My subscribers, thank you. You're amazing people. And I'm glad you tune in to watch my channel. The eight of you that actually do. <laughs> And, you know, I got Cakes Gaming watches my channel. You know, I watch his show or his video all the time. I like him. You know, I try to bring up other channels. I'm not going to be self-centered on my own channel. And, you know, if you got some questions, leave them in the comments. And I will definitely answer them. Maybe I'll make just one big video about it if it's enough questions. Oh, I can back, I can back roll too. But I will definitely make a video on it if there's enough questions because I know even if you're my best friend you probably don't know everything about me I do hide a lot of stuff like a lot of people didn't know I was depressed at one point which I I was I was terribly depressed and that's before I started YouTube you know a lot of friends had to be around me I couldn't be alone and you know I talked to YouTubers I talked to uh, a few YouTubers, and they, you know, they're all happy people. And, you know, the one that I left in the description in Sinister Edge 3, if you haven't watched that, it's actually a really good video, is from what I've heard from some of my subscribers, is that, um, he told me to not quit YouTube if it makes me happy. To continue on, and, you know, don't worry about your subscribers. Don't worry if they don't like it. If you like it, that's all that matters. But if they don't like your video or the game you're playing, you know, change it, blah, blah, You know, it was a sense of, he didn't say that, but I knew what he meant, you know. And you guys probably don't. Is that, you know, if you're, he told me, if you're happy with what you do, you know, just keep doing it. And, you know, that's great advice. Especially coming from him. I mean, he has his subscribers hidden. Like, you can't see how many he's got, but the guy pulls in about a thousand some views. So I wouldn't say he's a little channel. Talks about having multiple channels. You should check out his channel. Just, uh, I wouldn't put another link in it. Just go to, um, the Sinister Edge 3 video and definitely check the description along with Cakes Gaming's in there and himself, which is Elf. Elfin Lied Coda. Alright, so let me go ahead and check it just to make, yeah, it's still recording, so, you know, because sometimes I, I'm afraid it'll cut out, but, if you didn't know, I got a new tablet, and I can use the controller now, and I don't have to record with MobySense, which, you know, it, it's a good app, but it's not what I'm looking for. Um, if you want to see what I use, also comment that along with their question, because I'm pretty sure some of you are going to have some questions about my channel. How I grew up to be, and why I am cryptic school, or why, like, I struggle with things, or something like that. You know, it, it, it could be anything. Just don't let it be too crazy. I'm not gonna say, like, I'm not gonna answer something like, have you ever killed a guy? Because I haven't, and that's all you need to know, so shut up. No, I'm just, <laughs> just don't ask stupid questions. You know? make, make them video worthy but not I mean I can't I don't want to say that because it, it just kind of sounds like a douche movie you know, and like I said I hope you guys enjoy my content I say I mean shoot cakes gaming told me that I am too good to quit and I'm just like oh wow I've never gotten a compliment like that before in my life you know most people most people tell me, oh, you're bad at things, and, you know, you shouldn't do this. 
stuff in algebra and all that type of mathematics, I've been told that I'm really good at it. You know, and I, I even told my teacher when they put me in algebra one, you know, they gave me a, no after algebra one they gave me a choice of geometry or algebra two, and I said which one's harder because I still have yet to be challenged in mathematics. But once I get up to like calculus, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be insanely hard. You know, I don't even think I've cussed at all in this video. I don't, I don't know. I mean, y'all guys can correct me on that. Blew that damn door down. Yeah, no, there we go. I got I got a cuss word in. That's all that matters. <laughs> Yo, wait, I, I said ass. So yeah, I did cuss. First you kill my wife, you kill my child, now you kill my friend. Now, now it's, it's totally wrong. Hope you rot in the biggest of hell that you came from. Ah, let me check her to see if they record. See, I don't know how long this thing records. Mobison, like, was 30, no, it was 25 minutes. So, I'm gonna definitely stop right here, and because my, as you can see, my tablet's dead, so... Hope you let me unpause this so it ain't so loud. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Eh, you know I, I'm not gonna beg for likes. I'm not gonna beg for subscribers. I'm I'm not one of those guys. If you liked it, then you can like it. I don't I don't care if you do or not. Just don't dislike it because that would suck. Um, leave a comment if you want. I don't care. Um, I will read it though. Don't think I won't read it. I will definitely read it if you leave a comment. You know, I know some people leave comment on most of my videos, like uh, Merquaffle, I can't pronounce his name, of his channel name, but, um, and, you know, most of the people, I know most of my subscribers, some of them I don't, so for you, those, those ones I don't, glad to meet you, um, leave a comment, tell me who you are, and, you know, definitely get a hold of me and I would love to meet you I, I love to be friends with my subscribers I don't want to be those big youtubers I want to be down to earth and actually talk to every subscriber I can which now since I don't have that many can be every single one of you I talk to one of my at least one every day and the same one which is my first subscriber all day most of the day because I mean I love my subscribers I love all of you you all are all great people, and don't let nobody else tell you differently. Have a great day, my subs.